What's up, you guys? I'm about to do my kitties and babies call. Uh-oh. She's already coming. Hi, baby. She heard the door close. Hi, baby. Y'all ready? <laughs> kitties and babies! Babies and kitties! Hey, hey, you... Listen at her. Listen at her. Uh, you just be hollering. You just be hollering all over the place, huh? Kitties and babies! Babies and kitties! I bet they sleep. Okay, here come another one. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, where the rest of the crowd at? Huh? Where's the rest of the crowd at? Huh? Hi, baby. Hi. You want to speak to the people? Hey. 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 Where's the rest of the crew at? They probably somewhere around horse playing somewhere. Up, oh, here come, here come, uh, buddy. They go, buddy. And they go the other baby. It's two more, but uh, hey, hey, you, hey, you, one whiny joker, ain't you? Hi, baby. Hi. What's up, buddy? Hey, baby. All right. Since y'all here, I'm gonna put out some food for y'all over here, okay? Maybe the others will come. Maybe the others are waking up or something. Oh, let's see here. Let me get this bag opened up for you guys. Mmm, that still smells good. Mmm, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, y'all about to be smacking real good, ain't you? Y'all about to be smacking real good. Man, they missing out. They missing out on that good food. Where the other two at? Kitties and babies! Babies and kitties! <laughs> Don't y'all love my uh, my cat call? <laughs> oh man. Oh, what, what you running for? Don't run. Hey, don't run. The black cat, the tuxedo cat, she's always missing. And then uh, his sister. The furry one. Oh well. Hey, y'all enjoy, okay? Matter you know what? Let me go ahead and give it all to you. Let me give let me give you all of it. Ah, here you go. So I can get rid of this bag. Put this over here. Put that over there. Yeah, y'all like that chicken breast and them noodles and them spaghetti noodles and beans and ground ground uh, turkey mixed with bread. Yum, yum, yummy. Food for your tummy. <laughs> All right, you guys. So, um, according to the title, you actually know that this was a, a corn check-in day. Um, so, I got you on the headband. Um, this is day, what, 86? For the field corn and 90 for the sweet corn if you saw last week's video you know that last week the sweet corn was already ready and so friday today which is friday um this week a lot of it is getting past mature meaning that um it's, it's starting to get hard now so a lot of it is no good anymore um what we discovered when breaking corn and that's that's another reason i got you on my head because somebody asked well what is breaking corn let me start there so breaking corn is simply breaking corn <laughs> um with the field corn you have the combine that goes through and picks the corn and it actually shells it off of the cob because it's dry and it's hard so the machine can do that now let me tell you i don't know it all they probably make a machine you know how things have uh progressed in today's time and they probably do have a machine that will pick uh the sweet slash early corn without bruising it you know what i'm saying so badly because this corn when you pick it it's tender because it's still juicy it's still got all of the the, the juice in it the field corn, when you pick it, is dried out, so it's hard. Now, the sweet corn is soft. So, breaking sweet corn, like I said, is basically <laughs> us coming through here, 
and grabbing the corn <laughs> and breaking it off breaking it off of the stalk that's simply breaking corn and so you you break it off and you usually have this great big old uh, i think it might be a bushel basket and you can get about 65 of these ears in that basket so you're carrying oh, you're carrying the basket down the field oh my back oh my back because <laughs> you're bending over like i told you guys one thing this corn here uh it didn't grow quite as tall now sweet corn does not grow as tall as field corn that field corn over there is a little shorter than normal it's actually gotten more height than uh i thought that it would but if you saw the video before this when i was in the tractor that tractor that i was in usually you can't even see over the corn when you're riding in it that's how tall the corn usually is but um sweet corn is usually shorter and so you gotta bend over you're bending over and you're picking it and of course uh this right here you guys feels like a good ear i just broke it off but i was telling you guys that this corn actually did suffer from not having adequate amount of rain when the tassel came out. I told you guys that this tassel is how the corn is pollinated. And so it drops pollen down to the silk. And the silk is dried up now because like I said, it's it's about to be uh, overripe. Um, all of those silks run to... Uh, a piece a piece of corn on here all of the silk is pollinated through that silk and it's connected to one of one of the pieces of corn there and let me see oh that corn it still got a little bit of juice in it it takes a little bit more to pierce through the skin of it but this ear actually right here is that's actually a pretty decent ear compared to a lot of it i was getting ready to tell you guys that um being that it didn't get you know uh, an adequate amount of rain when the tassel was out remember i told you earlier uh in this month that we were fearful that the silk wasn't on the stalk yet and it has definitely shown that a lot of the corn did not pollinate properly now you can feel the ears i, I i'm thinking a lot of this smaller corn here Okay, this one, this one right here, I can feel that this one right here didn't pollinate fully. I'm gonna break it off and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about, okay? What happened is one side of it pollinated good, but the other side, I'm feeling that side right there. I can feel it through the shucks. It didn't pollinate good and watch how it looks. It's not a full ear of corn. It's good. Watch, watch, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. It's gonna look probably a little disgusting because it didn't, it didn't all pollinate you see what i'm saying here you see you see that gap there look at that that's not a full ear of corn compared to what we just threw down and like i said you guys don't worry about me throwing this corn down it's no good no more anyway but look at the two ears when you look at the two ears here you can see the difference in how it didn't pollinate like it was supposed to you see that you see how it's missing kernels of corn there compared to this one how full that one is so that's what happens when the corn doesn't have an adequate amount of rain during the tassel pollination so i wanted to show you guys that and like i said there was somebody i don't know if he's if they said they was from the uk or somewhere um y'all know i like to address my commenters because i care about you guys you know i'm not I'm just not trying to get you to view the video. Hey, I care about you guys. And I'm still having a problem only putting a heart by your comments and leaving it like that. I'm, I'm sure a lot of you recognize that. You guys know I like to leave a, a full sentence or a full paragraph responding to every aspect of you guys' comments. But anyway, I, maybe I learned to, to just go ahead and throw a heart on it and keep it moving. Like I said, I can't respond to all of them like I used to because I'm I got so many subscribers now but um yeah so that's what happens when the corn does not get a sufficient amount of rain you guys um let's see and, and like I said you can feel it that's why there's so much corn still out here on the stalks when we came out here picking it we can feel 
and I, like I said, a lot of these actually are, were still good, but f over there, um, let's see. Oh yeah, this is really drying out over here. Over here, it was a lot of them. There was a lot of them that that did not pollinate properly. And I can feel one side of this one didn't. This has got white and yellow kernels on it. I don't know the name of it. Dan planted a couple of different varieties. But see there? It did the same thing. So a lot of it was like that, you guys. But we did, we were able to get uh, and a sufficient amount of corn picked, you know, got the corn out to the people that we normally get it out to. Um, <laughs> and these peanuts, these volunteer peanuts are still growing, you guys. <laughs> and the bear, the bear been out here. Let me, let me see. Let me see if I can show you where the bear and the squirrel been out here eating. Look, look right here. See that? That might have been a bear or a squirrel. And see, the, the, that's another bad thing about having short corn. The squirrels and the fox and the raccoon, they can reach up on the plant and and eat <laughs> and eat the corn like that. Look at this. Look at that right there. See how they ate that up? That's that's another reason why field corn is usually so tall where the animals can't get to it. And wow, this corn is it's it's really growing two ears. I'm gonna have to ask Dan about that. Them things putting on two ears on it. That is crazy. And this, let me, I know it's not ready, but let me look at it right quick. This is the field corn, you guys. Like I said, it's taller. And it's, it's still, it's still got pollen on it. So it still has a chance to, to fully make a full ear of corn it's still still growing there you guys but anyway yeah see see the bear the bear pulled a stalk down so they could eat the corn <laughs> there was one spot over there where they really went to town look 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 at this right here i mean ate it clean you guys ate it clean there's not a kernel on that joker i see deer tracks here Oh, they did that fresh. That wasn't done too long ago. Yeah. Wow. Ate it right up. You see that? <laughs> I wonder what done that though. I don't see no I don't see no bear track. Wow, did they put pull, they pulled the whole plant up? That had to have been a bear, you guys. I don't see any tracks right here though. But they've been working on it. <laughs> They've been working on it. Look at there. Look at there. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, you guys. I just pray that the field corn will continue to get enough rain. You know, being that it was a couple of days behind the sweet corn. Um and there's corn that's even later than this corn. There's corn, I'm sure, that we got planted that the, the tassel probably hadn't even come out yet. Um, but, yeah. What, what in the world? Look at the tassel on this. The tassel is growing a ear. <laughs> a ear of corn. Get out of here. Look, what's going on here? That's weird. <laughs> that is weird. That is weird. But anyway... Yeah, you guys, that's how things are looking out here. So that's our check-in day. Oh, I don't forgot just that quick. Was it 80, 86 for the field corn and 90 for the sweet corn? Now this might be bush hog next Friday, by next Friday. I don't know, probably so. But anyway, uh, thank God that we were able to get what we got out of the sweet corn. Amen. Thank you guys uh, for your prayers for the rain. And uh, we're just going to continue to pray that the field corn does good, that it yields good this year in Jesus' name. Yes, indeed. All right, you guys. Well, hey, hope you uh, learned a little something. <laughs> hope you enjoyed watching. 
You guys stay blessed. You guys keep encouraged. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.